I was a dusty little whore, right? You know, you can have a lot of skill sets, a lot of great qualities. Uh, you can have high standards, great goals, um, great attributes, you know, a lot of great things. And with narcissists or narcissistic people, when they only care about one thing, all your other qualities don't even matter. And it's really sad. I've had some great women in my life. I've hurt a lot of great women. And I can honestly say, people won't believe this, but I was never really just outright disrespect, disrespected by a woman. But I was outright disrespectful. And here's the thing, when you have a, when you have great qualities, narcissists don't see your great qualities. They see the only thing that makes them happy is sex. The only thing that makes them happy is when you pay into them. The only thing that makes them happy is when you put them on the pest, when you take care of them. Take care of themselves is not, does not make them happy. So what I'm saying to you is that when you go out on your on a limb to try to make them better, to try to do right, those are natural things that you do in a healthy relationship in the beginning, right? They don't care about that. They want what their flesh wants. It's not even what their heart wants because narcissists are afraid to connect with their heart. I was 100% afraid to connect with my heart with, that, with, with what I knew what was right for me to do, but they don't connect with their heart because that's too real. That's too potent. That's too spiritual. That's too deep. So the safest thing for a narcissist to do is to connect with their flesh. And when you connect with their flesh, when you connect with their, what they want and what they need, they're happy. When you're giving them what they want and what they need based on their addiction, their addiction, their addiction to their flesh, which is external, which is shallow, and you give them that and you pay attention to that and you rock with that, that's all they are going to give you is external factors, their flesh. A lot of y'all out here trying to get the narcissist to to connect with their with their spirit, with their soul, with their heart, right? With the little boy in them. Oh no, or the little girl in them. Oh no, that ain't gonna, that'll never work because they fear real people. They fear real things. This is why you have a hard time trying to connect with them unless it's connecting with sex. So don't waste your time trying to rebuild, trying to uplift, trying to recreate somebody that's broken, that's been devastated, that's been abused, that's been bullied. They have to want and to, to do and get that on their own. You can't do it. You can try and they'll do it for a day, a week, or maybe even a month. But after a while, they're going to go right back to their old ways where they are comfortable at and where they met you at and where they expect you to meet them at again and again and again. And they'll never grow until they want to grow. You have a great day.